Okay, continuing on in the yellow slice, we see now that box and whisker plots is open to us. And this is a uh, skill that's going to depend on the lesson on percentiles. So um, what we want to do is basically construct a box whisker plot. So let's go over here and talk about that a little bit as we take a look at our notes. So first of all, the uh, box and whisker plot basically is is just that. It's called a box whisker because this obviously looks like a box. Out here on the end we have these sort of cat whiskers that stick out on the sides and we're interested in plotting five different numbers. We're going to have the minimum, the maximum, and then we're going to have these values here in the box which are going to represent quartiles or one-fourth of the way through the list. One-half of the way through the list which is the same thing as the median or the 50th percentile and then we're going to have three-fourths of the third quartile, three-fourths, 75 percent of the way through the list, 75 hundredths of the way through the list, and of course we can quickly reduce these to decimal. So let's uh, set about doing the uh, minimum and maximum. First thing we'll do is go back to our list. We will grab our numbers, pull them into the Alex calculator, and sort them as we did before. So we'll get those sorted. Notice right away the minimum is 29, the maximum is 60, so we can go ahead and uh, we can add that to our <coughs> box whisker diagram. We can uh, just quickly go over here, grab the left whisker, pull that over to 20. We can grab the uh, maximum, grab that, pull that over to 60, and we'll be on our way to getting that, uh, getting the diagram done. Now let's go ahead and calculate those other three values, and remember how those work. Let's look at our um, list here. Notice that the first one here is the 25th percentile or 0.25 of the way through the list. Uh, let's look back here and notice that we have a list of 18 different numbers. So our n is 18. We're basically doing the very same thing that we did on the quartiles uh, with a little bit of a shortcut in there. So remember on the, the quartiles we talked about this formula that the locator is going to be our percent divided by 100 times in. Well, in this case we're going to be dealing with the 25th percentile, 25 divided by 100. So 25 divided by 100, we can take the quick shortcut that that's 0.25. So we can simply multiply that 0.25 times our n value, and we said that that n value was 18. So that's simply going to be 0. 2, 5 times 18. So what we'll simply do is to calculate uh, that 0.25, multiply that by 18. That turns out to be 4.5. So look over here on our on our quick uh, chart here, 0.25 times 18 is 4.5. Now notice that that number then is not a whole number, so we will round that up. It is a decimal, so we'll round that up to 5. Look up our fifth value. Let's do that in a second. Our second time through, we're going to be dealing with our 50th percentile, our median, which is halfway through the list, so simply take the shortcut multiply 0 0.5 times our 18. Uh, 18, half of 18 is 9. That's a whole number. And since we have a whole number as before, that means we'll go to the 9th and the 10th value. We'll look those up. We'll add them together. We'll divide by 2. As we head into the third situation, notice here that we're simply going to take 0.75, multiply that by 18. So 0.75 times 18 turns out to be 13.5. 13.5 then is a decimal, which means we're going to round that up to 14 and look up that 14th value. So let's back over here to our numbers and see what we got. In the first case, we simply look at the fifth number on the sorted list. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That first number there is 37, so the first side of the box is 37. Grab and drag to 37. Now for the median, remember that's going to be halfway between the 9th and the 10th, so let's find the 9th and 10th. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So we have forty-eight and forty-nine. So if we have forty-eight. 
48 and 49, we're going to add those two numbers together. So 48 and 49 is 97, and 97 divide that by 2 is going to be 48.5. Or notice that that simply splits the difference between 48 and 49, so that's pretty easy to do. Let's go back here and grab that middle value, drag it to 48 and a half. And then on the last time through, remember we're going to have our 3 fourths of uh, 18 turned out to be the 14th number. On our list, count backwards, here's 18, 17, 16, 15, 14. Our 14th number on the list is going to be 53. And that should be our last value, the last part of our box whisker diagram. Well, let's give it a check.